Hello, everybody. My name is Jason, and I'm here to help you uh, get more engaged with security. And uh, today I'm going to demo something that's really easy and something that's easy that everybody should be doing. If you don't know what a sandbox is, that means you probably haven't been owned too badly. However, a lot of people have still been owned, and they still have no idea what a sandbox is. And so when somebody says, uh, stay out of my sandbox or stay in the sandbox, a sandbox is essentially a virtual style of system that we can essentially um well we stay protected so let's uh let's get rocking on this let me show you what's up so first of all if you've never heard of sandbox you got you're gonna take my uh you know word for it that uh it is what you want to get and and um if you run windows i strongly suggest this so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna run over to the site called sandboxy.com and I'm going to do it for the real Google search, make sure I don't fat finger something uh, and get owned in the process. And that would be a great demo fail. So I'm rolling over. Make sure you are at sandboxy.com. And that is the uh, that is the one you want to be at. And let's see. So we'll go to sandboxy.com. And they've done their site down a little bit differently. Essentially, get to the download. So we're going to click on the download. And I always click on it. I always go from Sandboxy. I don't go to any of the other mirrors. They do have some mirrors down here. Um, so I'm going to grab download from this site. I'm going to click right there. And I'm going to save it. And I'm going to save it just to my desktop. And if I can find my desktop here. Now I'm going to save it. So it's going to take a couple seconds to roll on that. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. and It's, uh, it's right there. Now, Sandboxy is going to live over here in this little area and it's going to be uh it's going to be well it's going to be your savior at some point i'm not talking the great savior i'm talking a computer savior because there would only be one great savior okay now we have sandbox right here i'm going to go ahead and right click on it open run with administrator because it's one of those programs that has to have administrator rights it probably will work without you doing it i'm going to click on next i agree install and it is going to roll over something like this. And it's going to install its driver now, which it just did, and bada bing. So this is Sandboxy. And where does Sandboxy live? Sandboxy is this little, little wedge of cheese or something down here. A little sandbox, I guess, is what it is. Now, a sandbox is essentially uh, something that you live within. And say, for instance, I'm going to go, if we didn't have this right here, we didn't know where to go. I would just go right down here to my little sandbox. Double click on your sandbox and whenever you launch a browser. Now, you don't have to run this like this. It, you can have it so that whenever you go to any individual browser, it automatically goes in. But you got to pay them for their, their you got to register it. And, you know, it's, it's a great program. I, I would strongly suggest you guys register it. Uh, they've been around for a long time. They've been trying to defend the desktops all over the world. So let me show you a quick example. So I'm going to go ahead and run this over. Um, I'm going to run a web browser, right? And I don't know which web browser is going to pop up, probably Internet Explorer, which it did. And so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick Google search. Actually, it's Aviator that uh, it popped up, which is a variant of uh, Chrome. So let's say, for instance, this is how it would protect you. We need a program called Hijack This, or you're looking for a program, or you decide to download something. and you just never know what you're going to get inside. It's going to be one of those things that uh, it might be the software. It might be something else. It might be, you know, you, you just never know what it's going to be. And, of course, Hijack This is, is pretty legit. Um, of course, their hackers are pretty sneaky. And so um, this is going to let's see, let's go ahead and download this bad boy right there. And... I always get impatient. I always do a direct link, but uh, just because I don't want to show you my impatientness, I will go ahead and let it run. And right here. Now, what you're going to see right here is you're going to see this. Now, this doesn't really exist. Um, this doesn't exist because you're in the sandbox. So right there, let's go a, a quick show you how this works because everybody that gets a sandbox is always confused. So you see this right here. It's showing you it's in your downloads, which would normally be something like over here whoops so it would normally be somewhere over here right and you would have in your download you would have a, a program called hijack this right 
So, sorted by name. Sorry for all the stuff I have sitting around. Um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, nothing. So, all of a sudden, people are confused. They're like, what the heck is going on? Well, it, it's simple. You, you put this in your sandbox. See everything that's right here? This is all in your sandbox. Now, if you didn't recover this file, it would live in your sandbox. But we are going to recover this file because we're going to use it. And we're also going to run it in a sandbox because we're going to assume it does something else that we have no idea what it does. So see this right here? All of a sudden, let's say, for instance, we just got a virus, right? We got something we don't know what the heck it is. We go to some iffy site and we, we just got trashed. Well, it, it's no big deal. All of a sudden, pop-ups start coming up. You're going to simply go to the sandbox, right-click on it, delete the contents. Boom. You just took out everything that was attacking you at that moment. Now, this isn't 100% failsafe because there's a lot of exploit writers and virus writers that, that write around sandboxes and, and intentionally use them. But for the most part, it's going to save you from a lot of different things. So now we do have that file, and we have it right there in Hijack This. Another cool thing that we can do with this, and I'm going to stick this right on the desktop, is say, for instance, you got these EXEs, right? You have no idea what they are. I always run my very first EXEs of anything. Um, first of all, I'll scan it and see if it comes up with anything. And so I use ESET, which is what I prefer over any of these other garbage that's out there. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to run my little scan for me, and uh, it's looking at it, I believe. It's probably going to do it twice now because of my impatience. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to, instead of just running this like a normal double click, I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to run the sandboxed. Now, this program has to have administrator rights as well, but it's asking you right here is, do you want to run this in the sandbox? And then here, do you want to give it uh, um, basically admin rights on this? And if you're running something in a sandbox, it does you really not much good to run it as an administrator. Um, I do know that hijack this won't work exactly right. So I'm going to say no. And unless you absolutely have a reason that you have to run this thing as administrator, administrator gives them more power and more, um, you know, ease, ease to break out. So I'm going to click it just like this and it's going to, it would install, it would do whatever it is, it is wanting to do. And it is, um, there we go. So this is essentially that program that's running, whatever this does right here. It's not going to make a bit of difference because I'm in a sandbox. So I could delete all I want to delete. I could do whatever I want to delete. But at the end of the day, it's nothing but a virtual program that I'm going to click delete. Let's take out the sandbox. There we go. It's like taking out the trash. And there you have it. So the only other variable is if you get into a situation where um, you actually want to register this because whenever you pop a, a browser open, it's, it's really nice to run it in sandboxing. Um, and you know, just normally opening your browser like that, you know, no sandboxing, but if you register it by going to register sandboxy, um, bada bing, and then I do have a license for mine, so I'll register it. But then once you do that, you can right click on the sandbox, go down to sandboxy settings, go under applications, web browser, and then for all your browsers that you have, which I have three. Internet Explorer, you're going to take the Internet Explorer, you're going to double click on that and apply it. Firefox, double click and apply it. Boom. And then Chrome, double click and apply it. What this does for you is it will automatically open up these browsers in a sandbox. Now, I don't think it'll work because I haven't registered it yet. I'd be surprised if it actually does open in a sandbox. It looks like it did. Wow. So um, I guess you don't have to. Uh, to have that in there. Now you can tell, let's see, you can tell you're in a sandbox because you get to the top of this right here is really nothing there. So it, it, it's, it's a, it's a yellow line that goes completely around there. And so you can, you can go to wherever the heck it is that you want to go to. Um, let's see, G I think it's G may got me the other day. Boom. Yep. All right. So I got blocked right there. So it, it had, I not had ESET, it probably would have gone up and it probably would have owned me right there. Um, just by, by fat finger in that, um, the, you know, these guys have fishing sites all over the place, but have no fear. The sandbox is here, right? Click nuke it. Look around, make sure nothing is jacked. And then you will decide that that is the cat's meow right there. And that is it. And so every little bit of safer that you guys can be on the internet, um, 
that's the best way to do it. If you have any questions, drop me a link below and I'd be more than happy to help you out with them and tune back more for, for some end user security stuff that may help you out to keep you clean.